Hallo. Hallo. I'm Rainer. In this installation video, I would like to show you how to install our new single hook for plain tiles and other shingle type roof coverings. Single hook, as the name suggests, is designed for the single rail with the mount on the side. You can see the slotted hole here, where a T-bolt screw is inserted and then the rail is attached to the side here. Our single hook plane tile includes two metal replacement tiles. The metal replacement tiles already have a butyl adhesive tape on the underside for fastening and sealing which you can stick on afterwards after removing the backing film. First, of course, we have to uncover the tiles. As a rule, we have to uncover between five and six tiles. We have now uncovered our roof substructure. In this case, the counter battens through which we fasten the roof hooks in the rafters. We made sure that the position of our roof hook was as close as possible to a longitudinal tile joint. Now we are installing our sheet metal replacement tile. The first step is to remove the butyl backing film. We make sure that we align the metal replacement tile roughly with the bottom edge of the brick. I have now made a small mark here and will stick the tile back on roughly in the center. Press it on at the bottom. The butyl backing film only holds when I press it on and I now bend the metal replacement tile over at the top onto the counter baton. Shape it like this. And the first sheet metal replacement tile has already been installed. Now we come to the installation of the plain tile roof hook in the rafters, through the counter baton in this case. I put this on here now and realize that I can't achieve my required 5 mm of distance here at the front. That's just 2.5-3 mm. I have prepared a pad of the right thickness for this case. I place it here on the batten and screw my roof hook tightly here. Here I make sure that the necessary spacing is maintained at the top of the tile corner. I would say at least three millimeters. I now attach the roof hook to the upper roof batten and then I have a defined connection here. Set my screws and screw the roof hook tight. Check my distance under the roof tile. I have two links here from the folding rule, which is 6 mm, so I'm well over the 5 mm. That fits. The 5 mm are to be regarded as the minimum dimension so that the roof hook can also deform accordingly. As the next step, after we install the lower sheet metal replacement tile and the roof hook, we now install the upper sheet metal replacement tile that has already been prepared. We also remove the butyl backing film here and push it up. Place it precisely at the roof hook. You can use it as a stop. 
It is now important that we place the upper metal replacement tile exactly above the lower metal replacement tile. We press it on, press it firmly, and so we have installed the upper sheet metal replacement tile and can now get back to the tile roofing. And now, it could be, if the roof hook is a little further to the right or left, that one of the upper tile noses is actually in your way. In this case, you would actually have to remove the tile nose briefly. The single rail is connected to the single hook plane tile using the 8mm hammerhead screw, in this case an 8 by 20 twist through the slotted hole in the tried and tested way, lock nut on top, and dressed. I now have a height adjustment of about 25 mm to compensate for unevenness in the roof, so this option is also available. As you can see, our single hook for plain tiles offers many advantages. It is quick to install. I practically don't have to work on the tile, and I have ensured a very safe water flow. Due to the relatively large deformation range that the single hook plain tile offers here, Due to the spacing that it has down here, I also have high load reserves, which I can also map and therefore also need fewer roof hooks as in the past. Thank you very much for watching.